Frozen, Frozen Heroes. Gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen Heroes. Gonna tell you about comic books, costumes, facts, boots, and other stuff. In this week's issue, Animax. Not sure why I screamed that. Welcome into Bros, Foes, and Heroes. I'm Zach, joined as always by the one, the only, the man, myth, dare I say legend, oh. Mr. Mike. That seems like an awful lot of setup. Uh, well, I said uh, dare I say. Yeah, I don't think you dare. Um, okay. That uh, I can only disappoint at that point. Ooh. You know? All right. Well, I think uh, apparently more of Mike than Mike does. I like himself. to keep the bar good and low. No, I get that. Because then who can you let down? Step over. Right? Is what exactly. I would like to do. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't listened to us before, uh, hi. Well, hi. Um, <laughs> if not. <laughs> that's that, that's that. how we start hi. shows. Hi. How are, how are you? And if you have, thanks for coming back. Now yeah. let's go ahead and get into Thank this. you, guys. Show. Just, you know, okay. Um, I, no, feel a, I feel a theme. We do have a theme going, yeah. Mike, and I know that last week I kind of teased it a little bit with... Yeah, you did. Uh, well, I, I straight up <laughs> told you what we were going to cover. But yeah, um, we covered a group of animals in um, like cyborg suits yeah. that yeah. could hold guns. Yeah, they were uh, like mech brute, suits. Brute Force. Who, which, Dolphin. Another thing we'll find out, which I think is a theme through these, is that somehow the bad guys look cooler in Brute Force. Yeah. Um, so the bad animals that they fight against. Oh, they were called. Sorry, God. No, you're good. It's it, what were they called? I don't remember. It was heavy Brick metal. Heavy metal. Not to be right. confused. They even with have the a movies. better name. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. You ever Did watched you? heavy metal? Oh, I love the first one. The second one sucks, but the I'm first one. I'm gonna tell wonderful. you that I'm a poser. That I know what it is. Like, yeah. Here's I'm the guy, and I don't know a side. We're gonna go off on this little side track sure. real quick. Um, I'm the guy who likes to know a lot about everything, even if I haven't seen it. <laughs> sure. Just cause like, Oh, I get interested and I read about things. So I know of things. Like, yeah. I know how heavy metal metal came to be. I know that there's two heavy metals because they made another one. I even know about like the whole, like kind of underground cartoon movement. And there was like Fritz the cat and all, you know, yeah, 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 I know yeah, about yeah. all that, but I've seen images or maybe even clips, but I've never seen the movies all the way through. I was going to say that this is Ralph Bakshi, but I may be mm. incorrect. Am I right I in that? I think you're right. Or at least that's who did Fritz the Cat, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, so. Um, and he did Wizards. Yes, he, he did, did do Wizards. Yeah. He did the uh, Lord of the Rings cartoon. Yes. the yeah. they did. There were two in mm -hmm. like. It was a Hobbit and it was Lord of the Rings. Or, with, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, which mm -hmm. I've seen before. And while they're weird, they're not bad. They're creepy. They are, um, but they're story yeah, wise, they're not yeah, bad. The story's good. And, it, you know, one thing that he used to do in his art, uh, which always, I, I you know, I, I have a vested interest in art and media and stuff like that. And so when I see something, I'm like, I try to figure out how they did it. Right. Yeah. And he would always have these things that glow. Like yeah, something okay. would glow, either like a bad guy's eyes or the ring or whatever, you know, would glow. And it was like this. I don't know. I, I just I never really figured out how he did it. Now, I do want to say if we're talking heavy metal, which, of course, this is a heavy metal only podcast. Um, uh, real quick. The other one I was thinking of Fire and Ice, but also. Cool, oh, yeah. Cool World. Remember oh, I forgot the about Cool World. Pitt? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. This had uh, the the original heavy metal. I did not realize had John Candy and Joe Flaherty from uh, SCTV in it. Um, really? Yeah, they did some of the voices, which is crazy to me. But okay, great. Uh, yeah, and Heavy Metal Two Thousand was the second one, mm -hmm. and I will I will never be able to disassociate it with Blues Brothers Two Thousand because they came out about the same time and they 2000. both had 2000 Here, and they both sucked balls it's so. funny that you say that because i remember uh one of my favorite there, there was a trend around that time around 99 yeah uh to be like oh it's you no know, yeah. um make a second one not just like and it's never died by yeah. the way since they started uh, it. sports games you obviously were by year because sure. that's how they were but i remember like wrestling games always had cool names but one that came out was wrestlemania 2000 yeah Everybody and, was uh, into the 2000. Were, Once we figured out we weren't going to die yeah. with the Y2K thing, well, then everybody was into 2000. I'll be honest with you, and this 
this probably makes me sound dumb. Sure. But as a 12 year old. Yeah. 11 year old. No, I was, yeah, 11. I, I was, I was nervous there for a bit. Where like, are you? I was like, really? After I waited and I was like, all right, it's been like an hour. Everything seems cool. How old cool. were you? It's like 11. Yeah. In 2012, 12, I was 12 in 2000. In 2000. Wow. Yeah. Okay. I'm a, I'm about to turn 35. I was, I was 31 <laughs> at that time. Dude, see, here's what's <laughs> weird because like, I, I, like 30, I, mean, I no, guess, but yeah, I mean, no disrespect. By yeah, whatever. Buffer, I don't care. But like sitting across from you, like here, like, I don't feel like there's that big of an age gap between yeah. the two of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you say it like that. I stay current with the kids. Yeah. <laughs> You know what's sad is that uh, I get the slap bracelets and the and the sticky things you throw on your ceiling. My uh, my wife likes to tell me sometimes when I roll through wearing my hat backwards, she yeah. references how I look like that Steve Buscemi meme of <laughs> "Hey, cool kids, what are you? yeah, so, where are the drugs, kids? Yeah, like um, that always makes me feel or, good." Or like the uh, the dog on the Simpsons. You remember the cool dog on the skateboard oh, in the uh, Simpsons? Oh, that Homer voice. <laughs> yeah, it was like it was like Rad Dog or something. I like can't that. remember his name. Yeah. But yeah, something Rad. I mean, I think Radical was in the name somewhere. Oh, I'm sure, but I can't remember. <laughs> I'm not gonna look that up. All right, so let's get back to what we're. So we have a theme. <laughs> so we got way off course, but so yeah, well, we okay. have a theme in a way here. Animals in suits. Uh, no, it's not animals in suits. It's oh. worse. Oh. Um. This isn't where Marvel again tried to make something and hope that toy makers would come. Yeah. This is just to give a little bit of backstory. And if you want more, obviously there's a lot deeper you can dive into this. I'll just do a, a too long, didn't read kind of chat sure. for it. Yeah. Um, there is a, these toys are end up being made. Um, but the company that makes them is end up being purchased by Tyco. Okay. Um, and the reason Tyco bought the company who made the toys is for one specific toy that they were making. And so a lot of the other things, they just kind of scrap because yeah. a lot of times, especially in like the nineties, it would seem like people would buy businesses, mm -hmm. keep what they wanted mm -hmm. of it, either yeah. sell off the rest or just get rid of it. Yeah. So that's what happened. So that happened a lot in the computer world. So you'd see software and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, exactly. Microsoft's um, really bad at it. So this was a idea that before, when they were developing the toys, that was brought to Marvel. Of like, hey, do you want to do a comic book for mm -hmm. this? Sure. Yeah, sure. We'd love to. They go ahead and they start working on it. They get the story for it, kind of to start to produce. But by the time the comics came out. Tyco had already bought and stripped everything away. So the toys were already gone by the time the wow. comics were released. That's crazy. Yeah. It, it you know, and, and again, small tangent. Um, it is nutty when you start looking at the toy world and the way that some of those companies were formed and what they became and what they put out and all that stuff. That's some that's some wacky stuff. I don't know if we've talked about this yet, and maybe I was talking to somebody else about it, yeah. and I apologize if I'm repeating myself, but I didn't realize and this isn't to make anything political here about this sure. at all, but that one of the moves that Reagan did was appoint a new head of the FCC when he mm. was in office, Yeah, who one of the first moves they did was repeal some of the um, guidelines Safety and laws. regulations yeah. mm -hmm. for kids programming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so now they could toy companies in a way could kind of directly market to kids and that's how we saw the run of G.I. Joe, Transformers. Yeah. Like, He-Man was a toy before it yeah. was even a cartoon. Sure. sure. Like, you know, you saw things yeah. like that because these companies could then go straight after the kids. I mentioned uh, Thundar the Barbarian earlier yeah. before we started. And uh, Thundar wouldn't have existed without He-Man and all that other stuff. So, yeah, there's there's all of that waterfall of, of things that happen after you do something like that. And honestly... I think that had a lot to do with Joe Camel also. Like, you know, cigarette companies are looking at this and going, well, shit, we can do the same thing, you yeah. know? And so they invent Joe Camel. But, and, and, and so that's what's funny is you kind of see a, a huge yeah, rise. Yeah, yeah. And then something that's not related to it gets in trouble. But then usually when that happens, people start looking other rail, yeah. other places for well, it. Well, it's like and now it slowly start to decline. It's like now where we're repealing all of these uh, child labor laws. So that's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Really neat. Yeah. Uh, if we can get some more toddlers in factories, I think that this country has reached a certain level. Well, if little Danny was the one who 
uh, did the stitching around my cuff on the last shirt sure. I bought. Yeah. He should have been fired anyway. Yeah. I, you know, you get what you, you get what you, uh, uh, pay for, you know, and if you're paying a that kid one cent an hour. Stitching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. I don't, I hope people realize that's a joke I'm making. It is a joke. Okay. Yes. So let's go ahead and get into, uh, Animax. Kid. The beauty of this too, is that through, uh, things and there's a bigger story obviously to the creation of these toys uh, i think the essential idea started from there's a lot of um cars out there that are named after animals mm. what if animals were the cars themselves yeah that idea sucks wow okay yeah that's a sucky idea well i am well and, and, and again this is one of those things that that comic book companies always come back to animals Right, like well, Captain Carrot, first. and the uh, what well, I'm just saying. For some reason, they think animals and robots and stuff like that ought to be married in these. It's just like Transformers with the beast. But these thing. are for kids, don't you think that works uh, for? No, I think it's okay, stupid. Okay, no, 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 no. One or the other. Um, I, I just it, it, like Transformers, huge property, right, for Hasbro for a long time. Uh, and then they were like, okay, let's make more, let's make more, let's make more. And then finally they got into the animal stuff and that's when transformers took a big nosedive. Like it, Beast it Wars. yeah, it was like, that was their last ditch effort. So I'm assuming this is the last movie that's coming out now too, where they, if you got a, you got a robot, big gorilla, you know, uh, maybe we're done. People seem to be excited about it. So okay. I, don't know. I mean, well, I'm not a big, uh. People were excited for Trump, I'm waiting, too. So. I'm waiting for the GoBots movie. Yeah. So, I want Micronauts. <laughs> uh, man, you know what? When they re-release the Ron uh, oh. Omnibus next year, should I I feel like I should get some of that just so we can go over it. I loved Ron. Did you? I really did. And like I said, I had the, had the figure and the whole thing. He shot the laser out of his eyeball. And, you know, he has that one little strip across his eyes right and they, there was a red light that would come out it was just a laser pointer in his yeah. head but it was still cool as shit you know yeah a big ass gun it was See, I've, i'm not like super familiar so i need to kind of yeah you need to familiarize yourself ROM with game. the rom let's get into animax but so uh by the way the name of this it it, it should have three x's and it should be uh, animated porn. I is think, what this should be. I think yeah. this is like early '90s, so it's a little bit before the multiple X's. In sure, movie. sure. Um, well, all I th again, I've been watching Parks and Rec again, and there's a character in it named Brandy Max. And yeah, she has three X's in her yeah, name, and that's just every time you say Animax, I think Brandy Max. I got yeah. you. Um, thankfully, because where we are at now, like there's a lot of people out there who love the world of comic books and yeah. love to get the inside stories of stuff and people who are able to hang on to things and are able to tell, you know, their side of stories that through happen. We have through the ability of all this over the years and unpublished what was supposed to be the first issue. Oh of my the gosh, comic. really? For some reason, this isn't the one that they published and they started off with their version of issue one. The reason we are going to go through the published one is because it explains things about, like, its backstory that the other issues don't tell you. Yeah, the cover's identical. It it's is. It's just all they, black they, and white. They kept the same cover. Yeah. But essentially, just to get a brief view. Well, except for that big blurb on the front. Whatever yeah. that says. There's yeah. a little, there are a little changes. It's sure. like they decided, I'm assuming this was supposed to be the opening splash page. Mm -hmm. And they decided to make it the cover from that uh, and then gotcha. go into everything okay. else. Yeah, because you don't um, normally see those kind of blurbs on the front no. covers. But so from this issue, sometimes I, I think it was in the, uh, did you ever listen to, and I'm not trying to like put you on blast. I'm just doing this okay. just before I tell the mm -hmm. story. I know we talked about Slugfest before. Mm -hmm. um, where it was about the rivalry between yeah. DC and Marvel. There was a time in the 60s when Marvel started out selling DC or when they were slowly, you know, still doing so well. Sure. That DC would have meetings to look at Marvel's covers and mm -hmm. figure out, oh, it's got to be this. Like, is it because they have more word balloons than us on the cover? Just rip or them is it off. because they have less yeah. ones? Is it because they use the col this color? Oh, no, it's because they, you know, oh hey, red God. is a – yeah. How about your content sucks? Well, about that? that's what it was. But yeah. still – so back to Animax, just to give you a little brief background into what Animax is mm -hmm. as this uh, unpublished comic was telling us back in 1990. I think I paid for the Animax Earth. channel for like five years. Didn't realize it was being taken out of my account. Is that the animal version? I don't is? know, man. I just okay. Uh, Earth – 
<laughs> the age of industrial revolution. Oh, I'm going to read from this. Uh, by the time that the great industrial wars had ended, the earth had stopped rotating on its axis. Uh, okay. By the end of the 25th century, 25th century, two separate zones had appeared. There's essentially two sides of earth. How are There's they living on the side. planet? If it's not. I, okay. I, all right. All right. It, I'm, it doesn't, I'm it, sorry. I'm listening. Mike, sometimes I feel like I put on my listening ears and I'm not saying this is like a, but you got to remember we're in a comic book world. Yeah, that's, Sometimes right. logic's got to just you're go. Absolutely right. I get it. So, sure. uh, it's the world split into two sides. We have the light side, oh. which you can already tell is the good side mm-hmm. and the night side. It's not the dark side. It's no, the night it's side. It's the night side. Okay. Light side, <laughs> night side. Because the earth doesn't spin anymore. Yeah. So one side's going to be completely dark what? and frozen by the way. Oh, okay. Right. It's not. Spoiler alert. It's not frozen Yikes. once we get there through the whole series. Okay. Uh, but uh, the peaceful light size is exposed, exposed to constant sunlight, and it has it's a lush paradise. That's where our uh, it's, the home of, it's the home of the Animax and their kind <laughs> masters, the road trainers. Okay. And we're introduced to their jungle lair, which is brought up throughout the series, too. This is a lot of terms. So... I know. I'm I'm yeah. gonna I'm gonna give a lot to you. Sure. Uh just remember as much as you can, kind of like the names of the brute force. Fire style. You know? Yeah. Um when man depleted the earth's natural resources, and again, I'm reading through this to give you backstory now yeah. that if you picked up the comic series in nineteen ninety, you never got it's any of this. It's not in there at all. Doesn't no, it? for some reason, like some of it might be in some way, yeah. but yeah. Wow. Or at least not explained as well as is here. Uh, do we do? I'm sorry. Do we know when this was actually produced? It was in the same time. Like it, it was. was just like I think it was just like a sketch of what they. So it wasn't like with. they did this and then five years later they finally no, put the comic no, book no, out. No, no, no. This is all at the same oh, okay. time. I think all it's right. they put it together, uh, decided to scrap apparently what was here, or since it's short, it's only 16 pages compared to they're usually 24. Uh, this could gotcha. have been like a test, kind of like, hey, yeah, this is what we're thinking. Okay, yeah, but let's do this instead. I do think I remember this dude right here. The one, one with the weird panther head, like that guy. Yeah. He's got they, they do that's the thing yeah. is they look familiar. I think I do remember some but of these. Toys guys. were only on the shelves for I think a couple months at mm. most. But in this, when man depleted the earth's natural resources and one species of animal after another began to die out, scientists tried desperately to save them using bionics cybernetics and cloning okay a process called are you ready for a mic i'm ready reincarnation oh boy and we're able to combine the living essence of each animal with the mobility and durability of a vehicle and so we're born the animax so this is this is literally an embodiment of not can we but should we Exactly. Sure. Gotcha. And we decided, why not? Eh, what the hell? Earth stopped spinning. That's Here's the thing. Earth stopped spinning. We were like, man, we really did finally ruin the Earth. Yeah. Uh, animals are dying out. Should we learn our lesson here and be like, <laughs> wow, remember when there were some animals? No, instead. No, let's mix them with cars. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, yeah. I'm, I'm not trying to knock the idea because I know that this is, sure. obviously, this is just something that you came up with to sell Mm-hmm. things to, or toys to yeah keep. you're selling plastic i get kits, that sure. I, I get that so i realize that the idea doesn't always come with a story behind it to begin with but yeah this it's is just it's this is a goofy ass story um so that's essentially what the animax are um our first story here we also <laughs> are introduced to our team uh we find that uh we're oh here we go the main line Hmm. Lion, Lion. if I can talk. Lion Animax Mm -hmm. is named Jungle Max. Jungle Max, sure. His uh, driver or road trainer, Mm -hmm. master, whatever you want to call Mm -hmm. it, is named, are you ready for it? Uh, I want to make sure that, uh, I'm pretty sure it's Max Power. Yeah, it's Max Power. Good Lord. So Max Power drives Jungle Max. This is literally just a lion head on the front of a car. It changes, I feel like, a little bit by the time we oh, get to yeah. the actual series, but okay. not a lot. Wow. Um, we also meet a Turbo Tiger. I think some of the names might change a Turbo little bit. Turbo Tiger. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I said max power. My apologies. See, this is what I was trying to. Right. It's not max power. It's max action. Max action. That's worse. I knew it was max. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, <laughs> max action. Uh, oh, have, from the uh, from the Baltimore actions is what you're saying. Exactly. The, the old yeah, yeah. old money family. Um, there is Turbo Tiger who mm. has his vehicle, which is or his Animax, which is Tiger Tracker <laughs> with two Ks. <laughs> so no extra x's yeah. but yeah. We, no extra x's but we have uh-huh. extra k's yeah uh we're also well, that's a slippery slope when you start adding k's yeah yeah for sure <laughs> we're also introduced to rhinox oh boy and his off-road rhino rammer <laughs> um there's tarmac uh-huh. and his power horse power horse fantastic I'm trying to find. There is one more Power member horse. of our group that we have not met yet. Uh, I don't know if he appears in the first one, if he's introed. Um, essentially, it's just a generic story to set up like, hey, here are your heroes. They're sure. the good guys yeah. here. Um, here are the bad guys. The main villain of this story, um, we'll kind of introduce him here and then we can don't have to get into it more. His name, well, his Animax, because they have uh-huh. animal. They have their bad ones. Yeah, they have their bad versions. Yeah, sure. But where for the good guys and for the Animax, it's humans who wear like animal helmets. Oh, okay. The animal helmets they wear allow them to mentally talk to their Animax. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, okay. But apparently you can't have that bond unless the helmet sure. also looks like your Animax, right? Sure. So the well, there's got to be a limit somewhere. That's right? why that's why Max Action has the lion helmet for Max his Action. lion uh, jungle Max. Yeah. Okay. Um. But the main villain. I who, feel I feel like you need like oh a, that's what I was gonna say. So the bad guys. I'm sorry. The bad guys have while they have vehicles of their own, they aren't human drivers. They're animal drivers. I don't know why. It feels like you need like a key at the bottom of this to tell you who is what and all that stuff, you know, as you go through the stories. Well, I mean, let's be honest. I don't think, I think everybody kind of working on this knew that we're going to just try to put out get this something garbage. out of this. To, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, What is his name though? Oh, okay. There we go. Our main villain who I think at times looks pretty cool. He's the winged. Uh-huh. Devil looking creature on uh-huh. the cover. I don't Wiener know. Wiener Max. Come. No, his name is Max Wiener. His name is Extinctor. Extinctor. But it's X dash T I N C T O R. Extinctor. Extinctor. And his uh, Animax, I guess what you call it, is uh-huh. called Obliterator. And what is it? It's like a little. Oh, it's a skull. Goat. It's like a devil skull. Thing. Like, it's frightening looking yeah um and it has no skin it doesn't there's other bad guys with him that have names like i don't know like rough shot and like rough gearbox shot. or stuff like that yeah. mm-hmm. they're animals and they have their own evil like torque animax that are like um uh, you know a, one's a bull and one's like a warthog or like a boar mm. of some sort mm-hmm. and one looks to be like a crocodile or something maybe it has a like a no Crocomax. Really tell it out. Crocomax. <laughs> um, the first story here, though, is very simple of like, hey, here's our good guys. Hey, here's our bad guys. Mm-hmm. The bad guys are coming in uh, over the bridge here that they have that apparently connects the light, light side, side and the and night, night side. side. Yeah. Off- they, I just Don't you feel like they really missed something by not calling it the dark side? I do, but maybe they were afraid of like, I don't know, Star Wars will come after uh, us. I don't gotcha. know. Do you think? Okay. Do you think? Do you think I just think night side sounds weird. Maybe they were like, we don't want the kids to think it's evil. It's not dark. Mm, it's night. It's night. You gotcha. I don't okay. know. Maybe so. Even though they're the bad guys. Anyway. This does feel like it missed a real opportunity of going through like a um, um, uh, a group, you know, that could, like a focus group. Oh, yeah. I, I feel like you put this through a focus group, it never comes out. No. Well. Uh, Unless it's thing. like seven-year-old But boys. see, here's the thing. Like for the comics, like you, you can't fault them in a way for mm-hmm. making it because- mm-hmm or at least in my opinion, the toys were already made. Mm -hmm. So there was already proof that 
somewhere along the way. But you had to come up with that backstory, you know? I mean, you did, but how easy is it for you at the time of where this is also in the 90s when wrongfully so, because this is going to lead to the bust that's about to happen, but they wanted to push out as many new titles so they could get, you know, new number ones or, hey, maybe this will catch. And so there were so many things that would just run for like three or four or five issues. They were just throwing everything at the wall to see what. Yeah. Especially the Star Comics, which is an imprint from Marvel, which essentially made all of their licensed comics. Is it? That's where the Chuck Norris comics and stuff came from. So Star was all that's where. Yeah. Star was all the licensed products from the time. Um, I think that's where the Care Bears comics were made from. Oh. And that's where the fancy ass Care Bear comics. Yeah, yeah, the gross Super Balls or whatever, the bouncy ones. Oh, the Mad the, Balls. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's 12 issues of that. <laughs> I'm not gonna read 12 issues of Bounce. that for us to talk about it. The end. Yeah, there you go. I mean, I'm sure I probably eventually will, but <laughs> until <laughs> until I get to that point. Were there any garbage pail kids comics? I'm sure there were. Oh, there's there were, comics huh? for yeah, everything. Yeah, there had to be. Yeah. Um, there's a 12 issue Marvel run uh, in the early 90s that they did with WCW that I so want to do. Oh, wow. That I, I've never read it. I've just seen like pages from it where there's one where Sting's in the hospital with this kid. Mm. And Sting goes, <laughs> or not Sting, the kid goes, Can I be like you one day? And the nurse says, I don't know why the nurse tells him, like, no, unfortunately, Sting's not some superhero who has powers that can heal you, but he can make you an honorary Stinger or make it an honorary Stinger fan club. It's Gross. just like, yeah, yeah. it's it's bad. Anyway, that's, back that's to Animax. Cure my cancer. We'll come back to it. Back to Animax. Um, so it's just a generic story to set that up. We get to see what the evil uh, seems like an evil mm-hmm. hog. Yeah, looking, it's a warthog. Sure. Kind of again, all the bad guys are animals instead of humans and, too and they drive animal vehicles which is very like, weird and they're like ugly animals too. super like ugly yeah mean animals um we find out that if obviously if you fall off these oh well, I, I don't know about obviously but if you fall off this bridge there's things that will grab you and pull you down in there it's kind of like a bottomless pit sure um then uh eventually max action and the <laughs> animax uh, save the day and they cause a retreat and so that is like a hey here's the world of yeah. you know animax and you have uh you, i can tell that you've read comics for a long long time because when you can say the words um max power and not even flinch action max action, max action. either one but you, when you can say that and not flinch you're you're doing a great job well, i don't know power horse i mean Sometimes name to me isn't the problem. Sure. It's more just story because sometimes things sound really cool to some people uh-huh. and just not cool to other people. And I, I get know. that. I don't think Max Action or what is it? Action or Power? Action. I don't think Max Action has ever been cool. But to okay, anyone. Fine. Fair enough. The yeah. beauty is now that you know the backstory. Yes. I don't have to set that part up as no. we go through these. So we can get right into the story oh as we dive into issue one of the much anticipated. The public didn't see that at the time. Mm-hmm. Eventually, mm-hmm. everybody's able to see that now. Sure. But this is issue one we got, and it's very much the same thing uh, in a way okay. of where the bad guys are trying to attack Animax, but instead we open with Jungle Max has been hurt, and Max Action is laying mortally wounded in front of <laughs> Jungle well, Max. Well, his, his lion head came off. Yeah, he was hit so hard. It knocked his uh, lion head off, and maybe wow. it was the color, too. This bad guy is crazy looking right, now. He kind of looks yeah. cool, though, right? Yeah. What's his color? Yeah. Well, he, he does have a little Nazi kind of thing going for him. Well, yeah, it's the comics. Mm-hmm. How is it easy to yeah. kind of recognize sure. that? Yeah, it's you can just kind of draw him a little yeah. German soldiery looking, and mm-hmm. people will think about yeah. it. Um, He's but got three horns, though. He does. It's crazy. Uh, so essentially, whatever their plan was worked, and they were able to ambush Max Action. They retreat as the rest of the Animax show up there to go ahead and save Max Action. 
but they realize, oh no, they're too late. And they have a very sad moment. Here is our uh, fifth member that I did not get to introduce last time. Okay. Because he didn't show up in the. Uh, see the red I could shirt. Be wrong. No, he. I'm looking for him on the back. I'm just saying, here. like on Star Trek, is he the red shirt? As soon as he shows up, he dies. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, one, two, three, four. Okay, no, there's only four of them on here. So he was added, I guess, later. But his name is Tuscore, <laughs> and he has the Tuscor. yeah. He has the elephant themed humongous holler. Humongous holler. 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 Okay. Not holler. Not holla. No. Holla back. Enormous. The humongous holler. Holler. Um, As in like dump truck. No, it's like a like a car carrier kind of oh, thing. Oh, okay. But so they realize, oh, we have to get Mac. This is my favorite panel right here where the thing just says snort real loud. That's the thing, too, is so they can talk to their animals with their helmets, mm-hmm. like mentally. Mm-hmm. But these animal, like machine cars, have minds of their own, of where they'll, like, well, you know, the rhino kind of yeah. like gored the enemy on his yeah. own. He's not yeah. told to by the. So it's weird. These things are kind of like living creatures. Sure. sure. Right? Well, yeah. I mean, they are living creatures. They should be. Yeah. Uh, but so they realize they have to take, perfect sense. they have to take, uh, max action back to their home base. Do you want to think where, not the jungle layer, the jungle layer comes up later, but they have to go it's back. It's a zoo. No, no. Where, where did, where's the city they live at? Why do you think the main hub for Animax oh, is? Um, they got to load max action up <laughs> and take them back to Peopleopolis. Peopleopolis. Oh, but wow. While they take Max action back to Peopleopolis because it looks like Max is about God. to die. Jungle Max is going to get. He on just licks the, his head. He's about to get on the dragway of doom <laughs> and head. <laughs> hold on. Good God. And head towards the Animax graveyard because that he's hurt, too. I'm, I, I just got to say the, the, the comics died for a reason. For for a while, I still love comics. <laughs> it just died for a reason. I, they though. never died. They're always great. Yeah, okay. Um, and so baseball he, cards are worth thousands. I love baseball cards too. Mm-hmm. He so the car leaves to drive to the graveyard on the, off the dragway of doom, and they go take Max Action back <laughs> to kind of parade him around Peopleopolis the same way they yeah. put Lincoln on the train after he sure. Left. Yeah. Uh, so they get back there. Trotsky in a in a glass coffin. And all the evil. They also call the evil guys motor mutants. Oh. Is their name as a whole. That's not as bad. The motor mutants. Motor mutants are not as bad as Dragway of Doom. That's true. Yeah. But so we get to see that this was like the motor mutants plan all along. Once oh. they've got rid of Max Action, yeah. who's their leader. Yeah, sure. Peopleopolis will, you know, to- just they'll be able to topple yeah. mm-hmm. and now they'll run the light side too, right? They'll topple Peopleopolis. Topple Peopleopolis. <laughs> That's- Hello, I'm George Topple Peopleopolis. <laughs> Are you a people? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, for ABC News. And <laughs> George, George, George Topple Peopleopolis. Topple Peopleopolis. Topple Peopleopolis. Um, so <laughs> they essentially carry him up through the museum of, I guess, human history uh. through the great city of Peopleopolis. <laughs> And they take him to the caretaker there, and they tell her that they've lost the heart of the Animax because Mac a- Max Action has died essentially. Oh, boy. So the Animax get together with the rest of like the politicians of Peopleopolis to decide what their next move is. It is so crazy how different this is from the from the original. Yeah. One. While the caretaker and her daughter take Max Action's body deep down into kind of like the basement area uh-huh. of the museum here. And her mother informs her. We find out that the girl's name is Heater. 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 H-E-A-T-E-R. Heater. Heater. Heater's mom tells her that she's found this technology a long time ago, but uh-huh. she's been afraid of what people would do with it, having that yeah. power. Yeah. Like, she doesn't trust it. Heater she, and her herself, brother Coleman. But it's kind of essentially cloning technology. Mm. And what they're able to do, Mike, is oh. they're able to clone a new body of max action yeah. and then after the new body exists they put a helmet and they're able to transfer mentally from one from the old dead max action hmm. into the new body the new of max action. max action 2 
So they now have made a clone of Max action. action. Max Action is no longer dead. And as he's starting to wake up, the caretaker tells her daughter, Heater, hey, go get Tiger, who's his best buddy, Tiger Tracker, or whatever his name is. Words don't mean anything at this point. No, that's what I'm just saying. I like it. Yeah, daughter Heater. Heater. To go get Tiger Tracker to let her know, what's hey, what's up? Sure. He goes, or she goes, grabs him, brings him down, and he's like, what am I seeing here? And he, they essentially tell him what happened. He's like, I don't know. I, I can't be Max. Like, I know Max action. You know, we were best friends, yada, yada, yada. Um, but he's no Max action. I know Max. Exactly. action. Exactly. He's the best at everything. That's right. That's the thing. Every time they talk about Max action, he is like the best at everything. What's well, right there in his name. That's true. Um, but, you know, it's a little too, or things are getting a little too hectic there at Peopleopolis because the motor mutants have started to attack since Max Action is already taken yeah. care of. Yeah, sure. And so now they're even attacking while they're trying to finish cloning a new mm. Max Action. He wakes just in time to save the rest of them from the attacking motor mutants. So you're you're saying that they take a dead guy and they clone him into a new guy. Yeah. They put his consciousness in him and he's able all, to all of his memories. They're able to kind of like, yeah, I yeah. His kind of he's able to just jump right up off the table and start kicking ass. Yes. Okay, great. Um, he does never feel like the original max action though. I'll kind of give you that. Oh, so I guess existentially. He, yeah. Yeah. We're okay. going to add that to mm, So sure. kids love existential crisis. They do for sure. Especially like five to seven year olds. Yep. That's what my nephew tells me all the time. I was like, Hey buddy, how was that Minecraft video mm -hmm. you watched? And he was like, they built really cool stuff, but where's the character development? Man? Right, right. Like, I feel so hollow yeah, after watching exactly. this. Yeah. What is our purpose? Uh, no, no. Life's getting tough, man. Minecraft video, you just said. <laughs> I did. Okay. So I was trying to be like, what? What did sure. you watch on What YouTube? do the kids love? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Something <laughs> they love the Minecrafts. They do. They always sure. do. Um, but so the clone <laughs> ends up saving them. They realize that they need to get out yeah. and they need to go rescue Jungle Max then. Since well, yeah. Max Action's back. Sure. They need to rescue him from the dragway of doom before Max he gets Action's off to back. The, All right. the graveyard of, you know, Animax. Sure. So the alarm, the alarm sounds off to let everybody know that the gates of Peopleopolis have been breached, essentially. Sure. Uh, Tiger Tracker. Needs to get his tiger car. Tiger tracker is the car. I don't know. Good God. Essentially, he and Max Action hop in the tiger car, and they decide we're going to go hunt down Jungle Max, right? We're going to hunt him down for you, and we're going to help take back and destroy, push back the mutants here. Hmm. So they're able to jump over the line of incoming motor mutants through technology. They just kind of burst out the side of the oh, wall yeah, of people off the list. Sure. Well, they and, had a trap door. Yeah, and they head off towards mm. trying to hunt down uh, Jungle Max before he uh, kills himself, essentially. Mm, yeah. But it doesn't matter because Extinctor thinks it's too late as he's Extinctor. ready for the siege of Peopleopolis. The siege of Peopleopolis. To end. Wow. Issue one. Gun it, you scum. That's what it so, says. I think that's a, perf a perfect spot for us. To go ahead and take a break. Yeah, let's take a break uh, before we get into the siege of Peopleopolis. Max finds a dragway of doom. The tiger stand alone and extinct or visits Peopleopolis. Be here. Yeah. Okay. Break all, time. All that. Hey, I don't know why I feel like I have to have so much energy. Coming yeah, you, well, you've got a lot of energy. Mm. Nobody has ever said that about me. <laughs> My therapist would disagree. So uh, I kid. Now it <laughs> went kid. from a siege. <laughs> there. Okay. All right. So siege of it went from a siege to the cover. <sighs> it's a full blown war. Oh now. yeah. Well, I don't you know, know what happened between there. There's no like time well, issues those, for us. They got to those know. blue warthogs. Yeah, it's all, all the pigs. Out. They kind of look all like... All the pigs. I feel like these are villains from the Battletoads game. Mm -hmm. That's what they kind of mm -hmm. look like. Mm -hmm. So, in issue two here of Animax, what we get is Tiger... Once again, poor Captain America. Oh, for sure. Being in that little square on the, the front of the... The little square because yeah. I have to... Yeah, yeah, the Marvel imprint. Eh, 
Well, he's done okay now, at least as a character. Sure. Um, but so they finally get, oh, I love this part of it. They finally get to, oh, away from the Motor Mutants, um, Tiger Tracker and uh, Max Action. Mm-hmm. They, um, what is this place called? There's a name for the jungle. It's the, I guess it's just the jungle itself. Anyway, mm-hmm. they're trying to find the uh, Dragway of Doom. And this is obviously a jungle in the light side. On the light side. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Um, they have no way of communicating to these other animals. And if you're wondering what the other animals, I mean, when I talk about that's right, there's little rabbits and bears and foxes with like motors mm. on their backs. Yeah. Look at them go there. So there's, there's like forest woodland animaxis and he kind of tells them, Hey, uh, I know you can't understand me cause I don't have a helmet to communicate with you mentally, but I'm trying to hunt down this, all that somehow. They understand him, and a bear and a fox animax offer mm-hmm. Max Action his their backs yeah. to take him to the dragway of doom. So he literally has two animals under his feet that are going as to like little race him animal too. skateboard, yep. b- it's roller skates. And so they Wonderful. take him to find. There's no explanation as to why how they understood him. No. Okay. Great. Not that I remember. It's not that important. So. I mean, I can go back and look at me. No, 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 no. Thank you. I'm good. So, (laughs) oh, man. Uh, The national nightmare is almost over. (laughs) They're they're fun, but I try to give it away without diving into everything. Sure. Um, I don't remember. Let me see. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. No, no. Here here, here, here it is. Without my helmet, I can't communicate with them, but they're turning around, offering me their backs. No. There's our answer. They'll take you as far as they can, and maybe it'll be far enough. And that mm. is your explanation. Okay. Um, so none. Yeah. But so while Max Action heads off to go find Jungle Max, which is the lion giant yeah. mm-hmm. creature. Oh, God. I, I, they're burned in my memory. Okay. Yeah. I got, mm-hmm. See, these are the two main ones. The rest, I understand yeah, if you don't sure. remember. Um, the tiger guy, tiger tracker is met by the motor mutants who have been following them. They finally catch up to him. Yeah. Uh, so he tries to hold them off while max to give max time to go find jungle max. Right. Sure. We then see jungle max who has found the dragway of doom, who is, uh, essentially, this is just so sad to read. Uh, or at least when (laughs) I read it, it was, and it lasts, uh, the, the bowls of the great trees seem to part before him, and the goals B O L E S bowls. B is it, say that one more time. B O L E S boils bowls bowls ba- bowls. Hey, is it supposed to say bowels? B O L E S. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. The bowls of the trees uh, seem to part before him. The goal the he would go. The, oh, the road that every Animax must one day travel waits for its rider with infinite patience. Like a siren, the road calls. And caught in that enchanted spell, the rider glides effort- effortlessly out of the waking world and into a dream. The dragway of doom has summoned. And no Animax who rides the hidden way has ever returned. Wow. And then it shows Jungle Max, and he is very sad. He is very sad. Like, it's like, I'm just driving to my death, guys. Poor lion. Yeah. Car. Um, Lion car. We get shots back in Peopleopolis that it's really not that important of where. That is the dumbest name. Peopleopolis? Yep. But where Extinctor is there, and, you know, they're gaining forces and they're mm-hmm. getting ready to rain on uh peopleopolis he can control the weather somehow with a gun that he has that's his power the main villains there's yeah. a lot of lightning thunderstorms yeah, things I like wouldn't, that uh, yeah with a world that's not spinning anymore i would think weather would be yeah very valuable um the fox and the bear that love that disney movie <laughs> that gladly offered their backs to max action to take him to the dragway of doom Okay. They get there and they're too afraid to enter onto the dragway of doom well, for yeah. obvious reasons. I would be because it's the road you take when you die. Sure. Um, and he goes, "I have." Oh, well, hold on. Oh, there's also we talked about self reflection. I'll read through this passage as they have gotten there to it. It's okay. He's thinking to himself while he's saying out loud. 
because uh, he can tell that they're scared once they get there. No. Even without an animental helmet, I can feel your dreaded or your dread, little friends, is what he tells them once they get to the road. Animental helmet. You know, so we can yeah. read there. But maybe you can feel my hope and know that we have to take the road the same as Jungle Max. And then it's a thought bubble. Because even though I feel like I'm the same Max action as before, I know that I'm brand new, untried, untested. I have the thoughts and skills of Max action, but do oh. I have his soul? I For a second there, I didn't know who was talking, but this is oh, Max action too. No, 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 no it's you. It, it's not you. It's me, I promise. It's you. I know I get it. it Definitely me. me. It usually is. Yeah. Only I can talk to Jungle Max through the animental lion helmet. Uh, then will the rest of the road trainers and the citizens of Peopleopolis believe that I am the real Max action? It's just super garbage words is what that is. That's just so right now, the only people, if you're taking score at home, that know that Max action is a clone is the second Max action himself. Yep. His tiger track and buddy. Mm-hmm. And, oh, I'm sorry. And when the rebels, when the motor mutants attacked Peopleopolis mm-hmm. through everything, the caretaker heater's mom is killed oh no so oh. so the only and also heater knows that max is a clone sure that's it well she's heater yeah right heater the heater heater knows all so he talks the two little baby animaxes into getting on that dragway of doom and hauling after jungle max. and you're talking about the two that he's riding on with his feet yeah kind of mm-hmm. like skates yeah mm-hmm. um we cut back to peopleopolis uh, extinctors trying to break into the city more, but uh, Rhinox and the other Animax are holding them off. They're really just side characters. Sure. Max action is the main focus through yeah. really through yeah. this. We finally see that he's gotten to the Animax graveyard, which ends in an evil Knievel Sal just jumped to your death, apparently. Yeah, it's a huge ramp. But they built it where it's like they were building the road and uh-huh. just quit building. Uh-huh. Doesn't it kind of look like that? I don't know how it's held up. I, I don't know either. There's no support system. but Because it, it starts like, you know, stories above the ground and then just like it's, it's like a Hot Wheels track exactly. that just stops. Yep. Like he's supposed to fly off of it. Mm. They get there right in time as Jungle Max has started his descent down. Um, Max Payne has to reach into Jungle Max's seat Wait, to get the, the lion helmet. Max action. You who said Max say? Payne. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's so many. Yeah. Ma- it's, I get it's it. Sure. No, I get I it. I probably said Max Power throughout. No, I've you probably said, said correctly. Max Payne is Max a, Action a couple of times. Max Payne was a video game yeah, character, yeah. and then Marky Mark played him in. Um, yes, oh, Mark Wahlberg played him in that movie. movie. Terrible. The game's, the game's sure. okay, from what I recall. No, I'm the game's fine. The, the movie's terrible since it's come out. But it's like Hitman. Hitman's bad too. Well, the movie or the movie, the video game stuff. Video game's good. The movie sucks. Um, but he's able to reach in and get the lion helmet that they left in his seat since they thought, oh, Max Action's dead. He doesn't need it. Can you think of a really good video game movie? There's not many. Um, Most of them are terrible. I would argue that Uncharted. Here's what I'll say. Mm-hmm. Uh, Do not say Uncharted. <laughs> it wasn't. Why is Mark Wahlberg in so many of them? Okay, I don't. I don't understand that either. Um, I don't think that you can do. No, there's not one. There's not one. There's not one. So the the only one that comes to my mind yeah. is Last of Us. But it's a TV show. It's a TV show. It should be a nine hour movie or whatever. But that but that's the thing. Very well done. The problem is it's hard to mm-hmm. take when people mm-hmm. are like, oh, mm-hmm. this video game had such a good story. Yeah. It's hard to take, you know, and compress eight, it. Yeah. Eight hours mm-hmm. of video game story. Because even in some instances, if it's let's say just four hours of cinematics through the whole thing, right? Even the missions you play, like tensions building things, mm-hmm. it's kind of natural storytelling. This whole thing, it's hard to fit that yeah. experience into an hour and a half, two hours. But I'll be and damned be if studios don't want to do it over and oh, over yeah. and over and over. Exactly. Even the Resident Evil movies, they're not great. Well, yeah, but they're not really based off the games that much uh, either. They true. just kind of went that's off true. name wise. But yeah, yeah, they did no, their own thing, and any, I guess they found an audience. Anytime there's a video game movie, I, I, I just I can't care. 
because I've been fooled too many times thinking it was good. No, I get you know? that. It's just like Stephen King movies, honestly. Stephen King movies, I, I don't have a lot of faith in a, in a lot of them. That's true. It's because there's been so many bad ones. No, yeah. I mean you you know screw me once and then send me Maximum Overdrive and I'm done. You know, and then you get the studio involvement, which is something yeah. like Dark Tower, which was an abomination. Um, it, it just it, everybody thinks they're so smart and they're just cashing in on IP is all it is. No, nope, no, nope, you're completely yeah. right. That's anyway, to the point sorry. where well, no, no, no. That's to the point where we are with media in general. Is it mm-hmm. seems like companies are just trying to get as many IPs as they can. Yeah, and they're just wanting to milk as much of it as they can out of it. Star Wars. And once it's done. They don't care. Marvel. They'll find another IP. Mm-hmm. Well, no, I don't think it's necessarily uh, like, yeah, part of it's Marvel, but it's Disney doing it to Marvel in a way. No, too. I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying those IP. No, not, not, Marvel not, and Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah, on. Yeah. yeah. But not to say that Marvel hasn't done it themselves because oh, they're sure. in the 90s again. Yeah. When they were trying to take advantage of everything, they were the ones constantly putting out new number ones because they found out they were selling them and stuff. And while it wasn't the people who loved the business or who were working in the actual making of comics who did it, Mm -hmm. it was the owners of the company being greedy and just looking at it as, hey, this makes us money. Let's do that. And just again, even at the time, wrinkling out, ooh, okay, this is going to be, well, here's the thing. You brought some, this is a a big spoiler alert if you read comics. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have like eight people who listen. So he did or something? Huh? Didn't he die or something? Yeah, that happened this week. That's what I thought. In the actual current Marvel universe, they ended the current Punisher series where he's dead. Yeah. Uh, not only that, before they did that, they changed it to where the Punisher symbol was completely yeah, different. Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, they took his skull and changed it's it. It's like completely. they, it, yeah. it's, and I kind of they understand. Get scared. Well, the thing to me is you miss the mark. I don't mm-hmm. want to get on a, a, a soapbox, but they completely mm-hmm. missed the mark on what the character was. Yeah. The character was never supposed to be glorified. It's supposed to be like, Hey, look at this man focusing on his revenge all the time. And he gets lost in it and he turns yeah. into a shell. You know, yeah. it was a, it's a cautionary tale of just oh, sure. look at what it could do to this person. And instead, and you know, certain people ruin it for other people. Yes. So, well, and as we know in comics, if you die, you're dead. I mean, you you yeah. can never come back. Yeah, that's the thing too. Um, <laughs> it's not like that if they really it's just wanted a stunt, it. man. That's all it is. They're just, at some point they're gonna go all new Punisher. He's back. Yeah, yeah. No, nobody stays dead. Superman's dead. No, Shut nobody up. usually. It seems like in comics, nobody stays dead or nothing no. seems to. Hopefully, in some instances, some stuff will remain unprinted. But usually most stuff won't will, will eventually be printed too at some point in time. Granted, there's like periods of, you know, 30, 40 years where Marvel wouldn't reprint things. But right. anyway, so let's go ahead and wrap up issue two All real right, quick. So it. he's able to get the line helmet on in time and talk mentally Ooh, to Jungle that was, Max. That was close. And get him to stop as well as, as his other little buddies, get them to stop. And they're able to turn around and head back. But oh, I'm sorry. Before before they left them to go get Jungle Max, uh-huh. they gave him essentially like a fuel tank of for him to something <laughs> them to give Jungle Max to help him feel better. Yeah. And Max Action tells him that the caretaker's daughter Heater gave it to me. It's a special fuel and seal uh, and uh, sealant mixture mixture. And they don't have like you would think like all right, you put gas into your car yeah because where are put, you going to put it in an animal no he just opens his mouth and he pours it down his oh mouth. sure yeah well it's either that or the uh, butthole one or the other so <laughs> he also tells them i think they used it uh or they used to use it in the olden times to launch rockets to the moon so i guess so it's, it's jet fuel freaking jet fuel yeah and that brings this is the first time this is the first time i've noticed that the poor uh lion car has flames on his it's on a his design, feet though. It's not that's what flames. but i'm saying it's it just seems unnecessary. <laughs> that is true. Well, it's getting it's getting kind of tough for Tiger to hold off all those mutants that have been he's been holding off while Max Action's been trying to get Jungle Max. But Max Action, oh, go ahead. Can I ask you something? I Did, might have an answer. The guy that's on this Tiger Tiger Tracker. Okay, or maybe tiger, that's the car. Whoever, or whatever. Yeah. And the guy that's sitting on top is that not a He Man thing? Also, wasn't there a He Man character that looked just like that? On on the back of a tiger, the guy's sitting on top of it, has a gun. 
Is that not a He-Man thing? Kind of. It looks similar to he, his tiger had that thing where it had like the mask yeah. on it. Yeah. I don't remember a gun. This this just reminds me of a whole He-Man thing right here. This guy sitting on the back of a tiger car with a gun. And well, I feel like there this. are a lot of similarities. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. Um, but Max maybe that's what I was thinking when I saw the first one. That's that could be. Yeah. Max Action is able to return in time. To help scare off the rest of oh, the motor mutants who think they've God. seen a ghost because, hey, we killed Max Action. Oh, no. What's he doing there? Uh, we go back to Peopleopolis where Extinctors finally had enough. And he's telling Obliterator, which is his, like, devil horn mm -hmm. animal thing, yeah. to ram the front gates. They keep ramming it with his horns. Mm -hmm. And he's able to finally break three. And I'm telling you, with the colors, he looks really cool in this. Well, he looks like Satan is what like, he looks like. Yeah. But uh, compared to a lot of stuff where it's oh, kind sure. of over the top yeah. and stuff, like he's just the kind of flashy, just kind of I love this cool panel color. where yeah. he's got both arms out and he's just like cackling and saying evil stuff. But then as soon as... As he busts through finally, mm -hmm. Tiger Tracker and Max Action both show back up at Peopleopolis too. Yeah. And they too. Oh no, wait, are we there they yet? They go enjoy a, a wonderful McDonald's flurry. McFlurry. Yeah. Uh so they get back and everybody realizes what? Max Action's still alive. Oh, this is crazy. We thought he for sure he was dead. Because mm -hmm. they don't tell the other members that he's a clone. Oh. Yeah. And um, they're able to scare away the motor mutants away from Peopleopolis. Thank God. But don't worry, it's not over because as Extinctor is sitting there plotting back on mm -hmm. the night side. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. He's not skeletor. to be confused with the dark side. Yeah. He's thinking to himself and he's like, you know what? The time has finally come for retread to walk the light side. Retread. Retread. Okay. Not the one from U.S. Uh, -huh. uh one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His idiot buddy or yeah. you know. Yeah. Um excuse me. And then we get to end this issue. You got a tiger in your throat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's I unnecessary, but my, sure. Okay. Well no, that was the Animax my other hand yeah. started up. Uh -huh. Sorry. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. the six people, people love that, that loved it. Love that somebody sound. might have been trying to go to sleep and uh -huh. they're like finally oh, they're <laughs> Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, but I'm not we, sure that our voices are the ones they want to go to sleep with. <laughs> very true. Okay. Very true. We're in, they end this issue with a very Rocky and Bullwinkle style panel that says mm. next issue. <laughs> Sorry. I sucked water. <laughs> I sucked air in the wrong way. We ready for that. Let's try that again. Uh, next issue. I have not yet begun to fight or the retread plot. Oh, dun, dun, like you remember yeah. how. Oh yeah, all, yeah. 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 So that ends yeah, issue wonderful. two, and Mike, I know we would usually just hop right into the next one, but I think now is a good time because um, you are going to be out of town. I am. You are heading to the Pacific Northwest. I am. I'm sorry to give that much away. That's without, uh, but can Track I, me down, for suckers. For va vacation? So going to see my daughter who lives in uh, Seattle, um, or outside of Seattle, uh -huh. um, and then just taking a couple of days with the wife to to do some fun stuff. So because that is happening, we are going to turn this- We're buying the Seattle Mariners. Oh, that'll be awesome. Yeah. I'd, I'll have to come there yeah. once you do that. But because of that, we're turning what would we want to issue or yeah. episode into two. Yeah. So that is where we'll end right now. When we come back, we will finish up the series with issue three and four of Animax. As always, if you want to email us, feel free to send us an email, brosfoesandheroes at gmail.com. Also, make sure to check out roguemedianetwork.com. Roguemedianetwork.com. For a ton of other great podcasts in the podcast family. Yeah, buddy. So, as always, want to thank you for listening. And until next time, stay safe, everybody. Golly, Con. Frozen, Frozen, Heroes, gonna tell you about Frozen, Frozen, Heroes, gonna tell you about This has been a Rogue Media Podcast.